ladies and gentlemen, Daisy and I, well, actually what I'm going to do from the behind the scenes, I'm going to do the moves and Daisy's going to follow me. And it's going to be a beginner, a workout for beginners. Daisy's going to be dancing over there and I'm going to be over there. And I will just guide her as to what the moves are on the video that I will be watching over there. Is that okay for you, honey? Yeah, it's okay. Okay, so get ready. I'll, I will just bust out one or two quick moves for Daisy to follow in the beginning. Because this is the one move that she doesn't have so good. And I will just show you. It, it, it will be part of the dance also. But it goes, it goes like this. It goes, it goes, it's like this, <laughs> slow, like, that, like slow. this. Ah, oh my god, oh my god, I and know. And then, then you go like that, like a bitch, <laughs> and like, like a bitch, like a bitch boy. And, and it, it's like this with the hips and everything. And I, I know this because I saw it on a movie, in a movie. All right, so. <laughs> But you, remember, I will be over there, she will be over there, I will be watching, and I'm going to be doing whatever, whatever you see Daisy doing, I will be doing like, <laughs> like a Hawaiian bitch, bitch boy. Ready, honey? Yeah, but anyway, I'm ready. Okay. What's the, you feeling good? Yeah. Good. Here we go. All right, you just follow my moves. Okay. Okay, ready? Go. Hi, puppy! Try this thing. Belly dancing with the fives. <laughs> I bet you can't do this. Prove it, baby. Right, now you just follow me. <laughs> mambo, mambo. Introducing new Olay Skin Whitening Bar. Wow, so foamy. <laughs> Sorry, Edward's I call it the bitch! <laughs> Carry on! Okay! I'm being pervy!
belly dance in more specifically. Choreographed by Michael Fazio in the Philippines, baby. More fun in the Philippines, baby. More fun in the Philippines, baby. I'm being
and gentlemen, Rabbi Jew Barker is back with a vengeance. And today we're in the Philippines, baby. That's right. And what I want to tell you, ladies and gentlemen, is this is the view from the dive boat that I am on and in from the hotel on the private island that I am on is the same view but a different view on the same day but different days every day is the same day everything is the same every day but it changes every day all the time but always remains the same that's right now we're on our way to three different dives two deep dives and a coral dive and I'm going to give I'm going to get I'm going to be the one to teach scuba diving today because I am Rabbi Jew Barker scuba instructor baby that's right so we'll start out with the tank and you see those weights over there I have a thing I'm going to do with the weights over there I'm going to have a special guest from the White House He's on it. He's again suited up. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Guessed it. You guessed it, ladies and gentlemen. It's Mr. Obama, scuba diver. That's right. Number one, Mr. Obama. He's a suited up, but what he notices, he's missing something, but you do not know what he's missing because you are not a rabbi. Drew Barker, baby, what he's missing is he's going to float up to the surface like a cork and it will not be able to go down in the water underneath the meters in the depths of the wrecks. So we're going to make Mr. Obama negatively buoyant. And here's how we're going to do this. First, we have a, we have a try, ever to try six, <laughs> three kilos, six pounds. Let's see if this is enough for Mr. Obama. How do you feel, Mr. Obama? I feel a little light, Rabbi. I think I need a little more weight. Okay, Mr. Obama, you are the one. You are in charge, Mr. Obama. How about another eight kilos of weight, Mr. Obama? Will that work for you? I think so, Rabbi. I think we'll be able to put these kilos over here and Mr. Obama, how do you feel now? I feel like I'm a perfect Rabbi Jubaka. I will sink slowly. But we don't want that, ladies and gentlemen. We want Mr. Obama to go down like it's bringing America down. We want him to go down right away. So we have over here we have the down right away extra weights for Mr. Obama. Mr. Obama, you will be you will be sinking like a rock. From your lips to God's ears, Rabbi Jubal. That's right. So what do we have here? Have some more weight for you, Mr. Obama. Is that enough? That's too much, Rabbi Jubaka. Could it never be enough, Mr. Obama? Because we want you to be down there first. Like you bring America down first and last. So here's another 10 kilos of weight for you, Mr. Obama. Because you're a bad Obama. That's right. I will, Mr. Rabbi Chewbacca, no. Yes, Mr. Obama. You lied about Syria. Every one of these weights is a karma. <coughs> you are going to sink like a rock, like you made America sink. That's right. We'll put this over here, like that. I will hold this one as special. In case you do not go down fast enough, I will hand this off to you. Like you handed off America to the foreign countries and you destroyed our constitution. No, Rabbi Jubaka, please, I'm sorry. There's no apologies, Mr. Obama. This is a no apology strategy. You will be the one to go scuba diving with Rabbi Jubaka. You will be number one, first down to the bottom. 
Rabbi Dubaku, I'm so sorry. No, Mr. Obama. You have lied to the people. Only thing that wasn't true was your fundamental change. You have destroyed America, Mr. Rabbi Dubaku, I'm so sorry. No, Mr. Obama. You, let's make sure you have air. Yes? Uh, is it good? It's a good for you, it's a good for me. Not enough air! Don't worry about it. Where you're going, there will be bubbles in the wreck. You will be able to breathe from the bubbles. Because of that's what you have given America. No chance to breathe. And now you will be the one to breathe from the remnant, the bubbles. But I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm making this, I'm making this up as I go. How am I doing? How am I doing? You guys are in the White House, how you doing? Michael Fazio, that's F-A-Z-I-O. Spell it right. And here we go. Ready, we're gonna take one, two, three. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. And this is Michael Fazio in the Philippines teaching scuba diving to Mr. Obama. He's a good Obama. He's a good Obama. We have kisses for Mr. Obama. That's right. Bye-bye. Number one. <laughs> Number one. Number one out of what? You are number one, Mr. Obama. Number one. That's right, baby. More fun in the Philippines.
and where? Ladies and gentlemen, we're in the Philippines and we're on a sandbar a quarter of a mile from shore with all of these boats. And you know that Mr. Obama is coming to the Philippines to visit Rabbi Jew Barker. But what did you not know is what I brought Mr. Obama with me today. That's right. And I brought a special guest, brought a Trevon Martin and Mr. Obama. Hello, Trevon. How are you today? I'm fine. I'm doing good. He's doing good, ladies and gentlemen. Trevon, I thought, I thought you was afraid of the water. No, no. Uh, no? no? You're not afraid of the water? Are you sure? Yeah. Tell me that you like the water. I like water. I thought, I thought the black people did not like the dogs <laughs> and the water. No, I don't understand. It's a very nice thing to do. Uh, it makes me black more. Black? <laughs> more black. And Mr. Obama, you like the water too? Yeah. I always was under the impression that Mr. Obama did not a swim the sink. Um, he's he gonna try to swim. <laughs> How about the ears? Yeah, like, let me see your ears. Kind of see. Let me see. That's nice the ears you have there, Mr. Obama. And where we are, ladies and gentlemen, is we're in this white sand bar in off a of pack. Oh, you, Trevor Martin, you are hot, baby. You are so hot. Yeah, you, you, you have a, you have underwear on under there, yeah? Yeah, I'm sorry. Okay, all right, Trevor. I want to make sure you have the, so the fish don't go after the dangle there. <laughs> Be careful, you have to protect yourself. Let me see the both of you two guys together, Mr. Obama and Trayvon Martin. You guys are making a nicer couple. But let me, let me, I cannot believe, ladies and gentlemen, I met Mr. Obama in the middle of the freaking ocean. That's right. Look at this. Rabbi Drew Bark is coming over. We're going to get a threesome over here. Uh, and, and we have the grandchildren. We have the grandchildren. This is the Obama family. How about a kiss? Mm. Mm. Kisses for Mr. Obama. And kisses for Trevor and Martin. That's right, baby. And remember those three things I always talk about, ladies and gentlemen? Remember with the Mr. Obama in the White House? There's no place for America to go but it down, baby. <laughs> down. down, baby. Down. Okay, a good day to everybody. Good day. Ta -da. On the corner, just make sure that nobody robbed you so that they could get their rent. No joke. Things were so different then, but that's why we grew up with, without caring about this or without caring about that. And now in today's world, everything you do is freaking you go to jail, so that we work. But I mean, if you knew how and why we have that kind of an attitude, like, fuck this, fuck that, fuck you, and fuck him too, you know. All right, so you want to hook that chain up? Uh, give me about three feet of slack. We'll see what that does. Wait a minute, back off of that. I locked it up by mistake. Okay, we can try that. Take about a 
pour the slack out of there and tighten up that bottom binder. If he can back that truck right, right up to it. What's that? Well, I would say it weighs every bit of 20, 2,200 pounds. That'd be the right thing to do. I, I, you know, that weighs 70 pounds a cubic foot. You got 40, 40 cubic foot of material there, you know. I, I'm thinking it weighs over 2,000 pounds. Yeah, that looks good. What we'll do is, um, you're going to back that truck right up, tight up against the trailer here. Maybe four feet away from the trailer, and I'm just going to turn this, see what happens. I, I, I don't want to boom down anymore. And if I, if I can't, if the hydraulics start to go, I'll put the, uh, I'll dog it off and pick it up with that. I'll dog it off because the boom will give me the, the boom will give me more power when it's not. Now you dig for uh, sewer laterals and stuff like that? Yeah. Okay. Maybe this guy wants me to pull the rest of the roots out of here. He's going to grind them out or just deal with it later on? I'd be guaranteed that he's going to bring a couple layers of fill and let it ride. Oh, okay. That's, there you go. This one wouldn't rot for 20 years though. But see that one there? That one there, I would have went through more change and more labor cutting that thing off the ground and it was... Well, you saw that, that I was pulling boulders, ham stones out of there, one after the other, which just popped out of there. Probably a ton of rock mixed in with that root. Yeah. Hey, it was a good day. The, you see, now, this machine here, you're looking at this machine. Let me tell you about this machine. First of all, there's only three or four of them in Florida. This is a 428B, which is... 30% more powerful than a 420 and it has the extender hoe and it has this slide boom option now this option the extender hoe is a $75,000 extra so this machine cost $190,000 out of the factory because the normal machine is 75 this is about a buck and a half and it costs forty thousand to import it from England. They only make it in England. They, I've never seen a slide like this. Yeah, and you well, a couple of people have slide booms. The Ford has Ford has one, but this machine, the four twenty eight B, has the bigger bigger tires, the ninety horsepower engine as opposed to the seventy three horsepower engine, that kind of stuff. And it has the uh, forks on the front. Yeah, so it, it's a nice all-around general machine, but also you can get in between a house and a garage with this, stabilate it down, and, and, and go to town with digging, whereas with a regular machine, if it's centered in the middle, it pulls the machine sideways. Now, he's got to bring that truck about eight feet this way. And we're going to back those wheels right up to that hole. And you guys... Um, Remington, what I want you to do is I want you to stand, you could stand over there by that black top in case I blow an oil line, it's, I don't want it to piss all over you. Okay. Well, yeah, let me, uh, let me pick it up.
Hey Dave, maybe you could cock it clockwise. Might be too much for that truck too, you know. Dave, I have it chained up still. It wants to lay on your bed. Is that okay? Down? We good? Before you move the truck, yeah, bind it up good, because if it starts to roll, it'll knock the back of your bed off. I'll hold the machine here until you get that binded. I forgot your name, I'm sorry. Ranger. Ranger, Ranger Remington, Brandon, Alvin. Hook it right up to the tire rim so that when he moves up forward it binds up tight. Right, now, your on the side. right on the tire so that when he turns the wheels that it'll bind it up. Yeah, hook it into the into the rim itself so when the tie when he goes forward, it'll make that nice and tight. Yeah. You gonna go jump that off at Brian's? Brian is a good man. Also, this has a 23-foot reach from the pin, which is usually the, uh, the regular 420 has like a 17 or 18-foot, uh, I mean, 18 uh, or 19-foot reach. This whole machine is completely different. It's, it, they only have, the only thing that's the same is the word backhoe. And you want to hear something really strange? Your blower... Our blowers use more fuel in an hour than this machine. It, it uses about a gallon an hour. Digging hard like it was this morning. Hey, can you let your bucket off so I can get this? I can. It's already ratcheted down. It's not going nowhere. You're, all right, so I'm going to back off of here.
Thank you, Remington. I mean, Bre uh, Remington, right, okay. stuff in the bucket? this. Why don't you start putting it in that little pickup truck? No? You want to put it in the top? Is that where you want to put it? I, I know. Put it in there. Put it put the truck. Put the truck over here for now. Thanks, Alvin. the window we're not gonna it's not gonna roll off
That window got lucky. Oh, I didn't see that wood. Okay. Want to grab that? I, I don't know what you want to do with this. Remington, move my blower back a little, please. Thank you. young man.
I can't see you. I. More? Ah, uh, he gotta get out of there. I ain't gonna crush that man. 